good morning everyone and welcome to another weekly vlog hello if you are new around here my name's laura and thank you so much if you are a returning viewer so starting off a weekly vlog here in tesco car park this morning it's monday morning and i'm gonna get the food shop in we always used to do the food shop on a sunday afternoon but it was always so busy and it just felt like it took a big chunk out of the sunday i don't know but anyway i've started to do it first thing early doors on a monday morning and i much prefer it so here i am um i'm gonna try some new recipes this week i've been following um a lady called m the nutritionalist and she's posting lots of really nice like healthy recipes i'm gonna give some of her recipes a go so they're all on my list and then later today my mum is coming round because we've got a few little diy bits to do and she's very good at that kind of thing so she's gonna come and help me with a few things so i'll show you what we're up to later um but anyway let's get shopping i am back from tesco's i'm just going to unpack there's one of those shops where you need like top-ups of all your um like fabric detergents and sauces and things like that so it ended up being quite an expensive shop but i did get a little bargain i love in tesco the like produced aisle i always have a look and these how nice are these they're a little like faux olive tree and i am a bit funny about fake plants because sometimes they look so plasticky and horrible but this actually looks really good this was 13 pound reduced to three pound 25 so i bought two um, and then i bought one for my mum as well but how nice are they um tomorrow i'm going to have a bit of a reshuffle in the house like restyle my shelves and just have like a bit of a freshen up at home sometimes i get bored of things in their positions so i just like to have a little reshuffle you know that i should love doing things like that so that is tomorrow so i'm excited to find new homes for these lovely little pots um oh i got these as well these were on offer um i am trying to be a lot healthier so i thought these would be a nice little chalky snack they are dark chocolate rice cake thins. room here is my like office slash studio and it's actually such a big space and I'm so lucky to have this room like dedicated to my work and like just for me me and Tom always joke well he jokes that he, like he doesn't have his own room in the house but I do anyway um when we like kind of decorated this room um because where the light is um I'll actually open this window um there's a window here but that was the only window so we actually fitted a skylight to let more light in so the aim of this room when we first did it was um as you can see like where that wall steps forward in and where we've panelled it that was supposed to be my like shooting area studio and then this side of it was going to be like the office it's all a bit messy and cluttered because i just keep like chucking stuff in here however I just find like, I mean this, I've actually tidied this over the weekend. This is actually very tidy. There was two rails here. I just felt like there was too much stuff over here. I had to keep moving it and then I was, I don't know. I just wasn't using the space how I wanted to. So I really want to simplify this area because I just feel like when I come in, it just feels so, oh my God, I'm tripping over things. It just feels so cluttered and I know it's not that cluttered, but it's one of those rooms that it needs to be super clear and tidy for me to be able to think right. Anyway, long story short, what I want to do is put the rail over on this wall. So then I've just got a very simple area over there. I'm going to get a new rug. I did have this rug, but Bertie was sick on it <laughs> um, and it stained the rug. So I'd like to get a new rug, have just chair, mirror, 
done keep it nice and simple also because this desk takes up obviously one side of the room and this takes up here however i don't use this desk i never sit here i think i've sat at that chair i don't know like five times i don't use the computer sorry the house is an absolute mess but just for reality <laughs> i sit at the dining room table on my laptop i don't use this so what i'm gonna do i think is i'm gonna sell the computer um, I've never really got on with it. I just much prefer using my laptop and this is the desk that Tom and I made um, so I don't want to obviously get rid of it. However, obviously, it's just It's just wasting like so much space. It looks gorgeous and I like love the look of that However, yeah, I'm not using the space and it could be utilized better so what I've decided to do is these legs are attached um this basically we made these legs i will try and actually find the youtube video of how we made these we made the legs and then this is just an ikea tabletop which we screwed on so plan of action is to unscrew this take the tabletop off and then i want to use the legs as like pillar tables and i've actually ordered don't laugh but it's the only way i could like i don't know i didn't find another way of doing it I've ordered some chopping boards and I've measured these. So these will be the tops of the table. So they, the, the legs will now become like little side tables. Um, and yeah, I'm actually thinking of like cutting one leg down. So I've got two tables like kind of at different heights. And also I wanted to change the color of them. I wanted them to have more of a woody effect. So I've actually bought some wood uh, like browning wax so we're gonna like rub it on there and like I don't know because we're gonna cut one leg down we're just gonna try it at the top where we're gonna cut off just as like a little tester um, because I really want to just make this feel a bit more woody as you can see I don't know if you can see it's still got the grain because this was wood underneath and we painted it white so it has kind of got the wood grain underneath there so I'm thinking that that is actually gonna work quite nicely rubbing these down with some brown wax um, not like super dark just to make them kind of look like a natural wood again so we're going to give that a go so there are my chopping boards for the top and then i've also bought this it's called it's a stone textured effect spray i think it's going to be like what's um on this lid here and so i've got a couple of bits that i want to spray whilst we are in the diy mood i'm going to put some like old dust sheets in the garden and get diying these are from ikea and i feel like these would look so cool in this i'm gonna spray those as i said i'm so lucky to have this room and it's such a big room it's literally like this is bigger than our bedroom and i've got it for my work and i just want to use it more and like utilize it better and at the moment i'm just yeah as i said i just feel like it's it's just not working at the moment or i'm not making it work so i'm just gonna have like little reshuffle around lose a few bits in here um and hopefully it will it will just feel more like functional and like i've also got some new vases from primark um i'm gonna show you those later that's actually come out quite good wait the thing is what you can do if you just put it on the brush this side that and then use good. that side yeah to relieve it yeah and then what do you think about going over with that i like that what do you think yeah can i say you are the expert no i think it would look nice because I actually sure. like that you can see the grey. I like yeah. it looking quite woody. But yeah. I do like rubbing it off a little bit. Smells nice. Mm.
legs are looking really good. Mum is so good at this, so I've left her on this duty while I've been making the lunch. Um, they're looking really good, but the chopping boards that I bought for the lids are just, they're just way too small. Um, so I need them much bigger. So we're gonna go to Dunelm and the range because I think they will have something bigger. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how they're looking. So I found these pizza boards in the range and they are the perfect size. So they are a little bit yellow. So what we did was gave them a bit of a white wash um, with some white paint and then went over the top um, with the brown wax once the white paint was dry. Another house job I want to sort out these weeks. Oh, what did I just say? Another house job I want to sort out this week is um, these baskets. So basically over this side, well, in our bedroom, it's basically just our bedside tables, bed. We've got this little um, like trunk here with blankets and things. That's bed, clean bedding I need to put away. But And this room is supposed to be like clutter free and just like relaxing, very like calm. And then there's just all this clutter over here. So my dressing table fits perfectly in that corner. It's a really good size. Um, it was like an oak color and then we actually like changed it over Christmas. Um, I'll pop a video in if I can find it, but we added in these um, dowels on the front to give them this effect, painted it like this off-white colour. It hasn't got much storage, the only storage it's got is this one drawer, which is great for my makeup. As you can see, it's just like a shallow drawer, but then it's not so good for all of my like actual like products. And I'm getting so annoyed at just seeing crap everywhere at the moment. Do you please tell me I'm not the only one, but like I just feel like everywhere I look, there's just piles of stuff. Um, anyway, this is one of those places. It was a good idea at the time I had like my skin products here, body products, and then I over here in this basket, I've got hair stuff. But as you can see, the baskets are overflowing and I just feel like it looks really messy. So I looked at all sorts of different like options i thought of having like a chest of drawers in the corner to put it all in but then um like i do actually sit here and get ready so i still needed like a little get ready station um anyway long story short i'm just going to keep this for now while i'm like not 100 percent sure of what i'm doing i'm just going to keep this and what i thought was that i could put all of this stuff in drawers under the bed um, but the bed does come down quite low, so when I was measuring for the boxes to go under the bed, like this was only like 13 centimeters, I think, and most of the under bed like boxes were um, like 15 to 18 centimeters. Anyway, I was having a measure up and I found these on Amazon, so the height was correct, but I just thought that they were gonna be a bit bigger. Um, they are a bit smaller than what I thought they were going to be, however, they do go like easily underneath, so, um, oh, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> if things are put away in places that are too hard to get to, I don't use them, so it needs to be like easy access, so these can just like easily pull out, um, like chuck the stuff back in and then put them away that's the aim anyway so um yeah so i'm gonna see what kind of fits in here have a tidy out because i don't actually know what's under this bed have a tidy out and um yeah have a little look at these So it's all looking a lot more clutter free now. Um, I have put this here because it did feel a little bit bare. This was from my office. I got this in HomeSense um, maybe two years ago. Um, and then I've just popped some little dried flowers on the top. So we've lost the baskets here. It's just all a lot more tidier. So I need to hoover up here now. Um, but I've got four boxes underneath. I did order another one. So I've got hair tools in this one skincare in this body products and then in the last one hair so they actually work so well everything has just fitted just right in there which is really good and then over in this corner i still have got one basket out that's just got my hair dryer in because i use that the most um and then i've got a little bag of hair bubbles and hair clips and in here just my brushes so basically just things I need all the time, but that can kind of get covered with the curtain. So I'm happy with 
this much tidier and clutter-free space. Thought I would show you my latest garden purchase and it is this umbrella. I've been wanting an umbrella for ages but I don't know, I just wasn't getting around to buying it. And anyway, I found this one on Amazon. What I love about it, as you can see, is tilt. So underneath, it's got this like tilt head. So um, you can really like block out the sun. So it's nice to sit here without the sun. My friend is coming around now this evening with her baby. So obviously we don't want to be in the sun, but it's nice to sit outside. So I've put this up and it is actually really big. It's from Amazon. It was like 59 pounds, I think. And then this is just a really old garden stand from my parents' garden. I do want to get a bigger one. Um, I just, again, haven't got around to it. Today I'm having another house day. I've wanted to have these days in so long and I'm like finally getting around to it. So I'm really happy and I'm looking forward to like a productive reorganizing day at home. As I was saying yesterday, I just want to give the house a bit of a like freshen up, like reshuffle things around and yeah. Like I, I'm at home all the time and I'm constantly looking at my house and for me the environment that I'm in has such an impact on my mood and how I'm feeling so if it's feeling messy or I'm getting annoyed at things it's just like it has a big impact on my mood um, so that's why I feel like I'm ready for a freshen up and something like new to look at basically. Anyway, before we get on with that, I have got some things from Primark Home. Look how big these bags are. Also, just quickly wanted to say that in this vlog, you are not going to see me looking my best. My hair is so greasy, but when it's greasy, it goes perfectly in like a low pony because it just all sticks down very well. No makeup and just like non-ironed clothes basically because I'm just at home and I just want to like give the hair and face a break this week. Anyway, let me show you what I've got from Primark. Their home stuff is so good. These are from the Milton Keynes home store. My mum went in there and she was FaceTiming me while she was in there. Um, and yeah, so I, like the FaceTime kept cutting out. But I was like, yeah, just get that, get that, get that. Um, so anyway, I'll show you what I've got. Look at this gorgeous vase like if you saw this in zara home or anything else this would be at least i'm gonna go with like at least 60 to 70 pounds primark home 10 pounds like i can't believe it it's oh it's just so so gorgeous and i've got some other little smaller ones as i said it like it was really hard to see on facetime i couldn't really like see the textures properly i really like this but i'm not I just don't know if I'm 100% sure on the shine, but what I'm gonna do, I've got the receipts, so as I'm like styling things up today, if I don't end up using them, then I can return them, but it's so nice. That one was eight pounds. This one, love like the kind of a unique shape of this and these little handles at the top, that was six pounds. And that's got more of the matte, like, um, ah, like I don't like touching it, but more of that like matte um, textured finish. And then finally, just got this little terracotta pot, which is so cute, and that was three pounds. Um, I have got some other terracotta bits, and I'm wanting to like pull that into the lounge when I'm restyling this time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add some more like subtle, soft, orangey terracotta tones. Um, the tables, the little side tables that mum and I were making out of the desk legs aren't quite finished yet because I need Tom to cut them down. So once they're finished, I will show you. But these um, candlesticks, I sprayed these yesterday and I am really happy with them. I felt like before they were quite shiny and it, I don't know, they just didn't look anything special. But by spraying them, it's given them this really cool texture and it's just made them like a bit more like interesting basically. So here are the shelves as they are at the moment. To be honest, this side of the shelves, I'm really happy with still. This is like my favorite styling I've ever done on them. And to be honest, oh, yeah, I love it as it is. So I don't think I'm gonna change all of it up. I might just like refresh a few bits, um, but I think I'm gonna like, probably keep that as it is because I just feel like that works really well and I like that. I am going to rejig this. I find the fire, um, like the mantelpiece area 
like tricky this is quite narrow here so you can't put too much on there or too many things and i find it hard to get the balance on each side of the mirror um so yeah i, I might relook at that and then it's mainly this side that i want to have a little play around um, because I'm just not feeling this side at the moment. I always put black accessories on this side to like tie in with the telly and like we've got like the Skybox and PlayStation and stuff under there. So I have cleared, um, I've cleared those shelves and I've got everything out um, that I want to or could use basically. And this is like a collection that I have accumulated over the last, or well, since we lived here, so coming up for three years. I really think that the key to styling shelves is having a mixture of things. So number one would be having different textures. Um, I love like using baskets and trays and these little seagrass baskets for adding that different texture in um different tones so um if you are a regular viewer around here you'll know that i like to paint my vases and add in that bicarb so for example this one it's actually chipped there so if i put it out i have to put it this way but this has got like a very matte um i don't know if it's coming up on camera but yeah very very like matte texture um and then say for example like these that i sprayed yesterday these have also now got like a speckled texture so i think adding that like different texture and not having them all the same different heights so you want things you don't want everything to be the same height so you see how lots of these vases around here are the same height i wouldn't put those next to each other it's really nice to have different heights so you see i've got those bigger vases at the back but you can also add height by adding um like faux flowers or like um leaves or foliage or something in the pots so that's actually how i love to add height is to yeah add lots of foliage to the vases um, next is to have like a mixture of colours but kind of stick to a colour palette. As I just said, I'm trying to add in, look at this funny little thing with these eyes by the way, I just, I'm not going to have the eyes showing, I've turned it around that way. Um, having different tones but kind of in keeping with a the theme. So as I said, I wanted to add the terracotta bits so I've got a few things that I can like spread out to make the um, colour spread even lots of neutrals because that's just like my my love is neutral so all of those and then we have got lots of darker black decor accessories as well so i think sticking to two to three colors um, will keep everything looking very consistent and cohesive I love Facebook Marketplace for finding old vases and then I will paint them like it doesn't matter what colour they are as long as you like the shape of them and then you can paint them yourself. So I found some really good vases on there. Um, candles are also another good thing just to add kind of that very like warm and homely feel. I can't believe I forgot such a key element of my um, shelf styling tips are books. So like coffee table books, nice big chunky books. They look really good either like standing up, that's a really nice way to add height, or laying down, popping kind of accessories on them. It's also so much about trial and error. I think people think that it literally just takes like 10 minutes to chuck some stuff on the shelves, but it can take me hours to do. Like you'll put something up and then that looks great, but then something isn't working with that when you get to the next step. So it's so much trial and error. I am jumping from one side to another here, but what I actually want to do, because this is the side that I'm going to incorporate the um, terracotta pieces, I want to put those out first and then obviously see which items they're replacing because then I can use those over there as well. So what I think I'm going to use on this side are these two items. 
Um, so first of all, this little vase, I want to spread the two vases over equally. So what I think I might do is because the big one needs a big amount of space, I think that's gonna sit there. And then this little one, I think I'm gonna replace up here. And then it gives like a good even spread. That needs just to be cut down a little bit. I do think that the green leaves sit better against a white vase because they have more of a contrast. And I think that the jug is actually, not, I don't actually know what to call it, yeah, this kind of like jug thing is really pretty and doesn't actually need any flowers sitting in it. Okay, so I'm happy with these small changes that I've made over here. Okay, we are all finished and I'm so happy with it. But just for a little reality check, we're all nice and tidy and then boom <laughs> this is where i've put everything so then next job is to tidy all of that up so let me rewind as we come into here i feel like it would look better without the reed diffuser and just that basket in the middle like that however i really love having a reed diffuser on there because this is like the area you walk through and I feel like having a very nice reed diffuser like this this smells so nice this is from um, Nest New York and it's their new rose scent I feel like you can really smell it as you go through so I wanted to keep that on there and then we have like a little basket or something for keys um, and then I've just popped these candles um, I can't remember if I showed you these earlier or not I think I did but these are the ones that I sprayed yesterday so I'm really pleased with those this jug is from Dunelm. Had this, I got this a couple of months ago, and then this is my dried. Um, I always call it Gypsophilia, but I think its like nickname is Baby's Breath. Shelving here is all done. Had a little rejig here. Worked some green in on this corner, so then that it flowed really nicely over here because I've added in some green touches over here as well. So I'm really happy with how all this is looking. There's my new Primark vase in situ. Because of the TV and the skybox and everything, I did want to keep some black kind of accents over here. Um, and I've also popped a black and white photo up there, which I thought just worked in really well. So happy with that. Now it's time for some lunch. Today's lunch, I must say, it doesn't look very appetizing, but every All Plants meal that I've had so far has been delicious. Um, they come frozen, they're all vegan. I'm not a vegan, but I just love having these in the house um, because on days like today where I can't be bothered to make lunch, all I've had to do is microwave this. So we've got a rich and hearty minced mushroom, lentil and walnut ragu folded through rigatoni pasta and sprinkled with some almond palm crumbs. So I've microwaved it, given it a little mix up and I'm going to eat this. I also bought this table runner from Amazon. Um, our table is quite long. I think it's it's nearly two meters um, long. So I always struggle to get a runner long enough. Um, so when I saw this, I was very excited and I bought it. But actually, I do really like it. But I think because we've got the striped cushions, um, I actually think just keeping it simple with my current situation um, works better. So I'm actually going to return this. But it's really nice quality and I'm actually very impressed. So... I will link it just in case um, anyone else is after a long table runner. Okay, I have been tidying up in here and I wanted to show you the like just re sh reshuffled, tidier office. So here are my little plinth tables all finished and I'm so pleased with them. I love that it's given them like a new life because um, I loved my desk but it just felt like it was taking up a lot of space and it wasn't getting used. So I love that we've been able to still make use of these but obviously they don't take up too much space and actually now I've got a nice clear area to film um, and not have to like move everything around all the time so I'm so happy with that. I have got two chairs in here because I had 
That chair is kind of a prop and then this was my desk chair. So I haven't figured that out 100% yet. I've got lights and tripods there. And then moving over to this side. So this rail is looking very busy and bright and it's just because I have got some videos planned and I've got all my outfits on here. Usually there won't be as much on this area, but I'm happy with this little zone over here. Looking around here, I've still got my little Billy bookcase here. Um, just tidied it up a lot, so it feels a lot neater, which I love. These baskets I got, these are from Wilco actually. I think they were like, I don't know if they were six or eight pounds each, but they were like just the right size for here. So happy that like we moved it around and just created a little bit more space. So that brings us to the end of today's vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching and tuning in this week. Um, I am dressed like this because I'm actually heading to Wilderness Festival tomorrow. So I'm just deciding what to wear, really don't know what to wear, trying on some outfits. Um, and that will be in next week's vlog because I'm gonna film kind of what I'm wearing in the festival and everything. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.